what's up guys AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video uh, today I'm not gonna be using uh, the face cam if you'd like to see my handsome face you can find it on Instagram guys I'm really active on Instagram uh, these days pretty much having something uploaded every day uh, what's going on in my life Instagram story so definitely check it out if you are interested in what's going on in my life anyway today okay MMO on the menu I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play this random team. Uh, I'm not sure if we are in a new season yet. So we are still in this same season. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna be bringing the double bug scissor Volcarona. A deep hook scissor. We have Stealth Rock, Hippo, and then we have Togekiss and me and Shallow, of course, as well. So it's gonna be the first game of the day. Haven't played PvP in a while, so it's gotta be interesting. Oh, it looks like we're playing against Stall. I don't have Taunt on this. Mianxiao, so this might, actually, this might actually suck for me a bit. However, I do think Dogekiss can kind of destroy him. If I can somehow get rid of the Rotom. Uh, I assume... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. But if I can get up rocks, weaken the guy, maybe we can do it. With this, I lead off with Needle Queen. That sucks. Like it's really typical that I have to play against this. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this Needle Queen has Flamethrower. I should not die though, as I am specially defensive. He just goes for Toxic Spikes. Um, it's fine, I guess. I'm just gonna defog first. Gonna be Skarm. And I'll just shoot turn. Assuming he's gonna set up his hazards or something. I did go first, so did he just roar me out or something? I'm gonna go Blissey. This is gonna be a long one. We just Brave Bird it. What is his... what nature is he then? The TP here. Yes, yeah, so I'll be fitting back into this guy. Actually got some damage on him, he's probably Rocky Helmet. Um, Deep Rock. He can brave bird what he wants. It's... Okay. Well, since I'm faster anyway, um, I can definitely see some potential here. I don't know if brave bird knocks out Volcarona. Um, I'll bring in the kiss. He has to bring in the Rotom. Oh, because Needle Queen, okay. This is not gonna be pretty for him. <laughs> I'll take this. I'm just gonna air slash here in case he goes Rotom now. Like, I know there's nothing he can do to me, so. We didn't get the flinch. So that's a bit unfortunate. We're gonna heal Bel Air. He goes Rotom now. If I only got the flinch there, that would have been super cool. I don't know if this is gonna be trick. That is definitely possible. Like my Togekiss has a lot of mileage against his team. So I would prefer him not getting tricked here. And I know I can get an opportunity later on to, um, to defog uh, two Nas to blow up against him. Yeah, exactly. He tricked. He was tricking there. The HP on this Pokemon doesn't matter much. 
I definitely didn't want him to trick. So we just TP here. Assuming he's just gonna Volt Switch. And go into something that can take the Toxic. Ezreal Necklace is the one that comes in. Okay, so I'll bring in a Scissor. If this is one of those double dance sets, I can phase him out with Hippo. I'll defog first. That's it's one of those double dance sets. I don't know if this is Rocky Helmet though. It, no, it isn't. So it's leftovers. I don't know if you call mine here. He should be call mining here. No, he made the wrong move. He should have call mined it there. But I can uh, just phase him out there. Goes into Ferrothorn. Gets slack off once. This probably spike stands, stealth rock scar, toxic spikes. He went for power whip instead. I'm not too worried about that. I'm bringing in the scissor though. I just so I can get off a roost. Probably gonna bring in Skarm or something. But now that Rodon doesn't have trick, or doesn't now that Rodon cannot trick me, um, I can use Togekiss more efficiently. Thunder Wave, uh, that's fine. We don't care about that. Gonna U turn there. Getting Kiss. Yeah, we're gonna set up on him. You can double T-wave me, that's fine. Split up again. <laughs> He's digging his own grave now. Which may be as smart as now and go for the heal doll. I'm pretty sure you don't want me to get to plus six. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's faster than me. Okay. He's running speed on his... It really sucked that I got uh, paralyzed there. However, I can use this to flinch him down now. I'm at plus four. Fortunately, I... Wow. Two air slashes, zero flinches. Talk about bad luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this again. I'm gonna roost. By the way, if I flinch the Needle Queen... Uh, Dragon Breath. Okay, to paralyze me again. Let's see. It's kind of annoying. If I had taunt on me and shout, I think it would have been a bit easier.
it is what it is though. Uh, I am slower than Milotic, so can you turn now? He did stay in two drag two dragon breath me. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um Get him in, shall. I think close combat should not come out if you turned it that much, considering I'm life warped and actually invested into attacks. So I'm gonna U-turn, expecting the Needle Queen. Doesn't get the poison point that now I get in uh, my Togekiss. How much did he do with Volt Switch last time? Switch did okay 40.1, so he's not gonna kill me. So I can now split up and he goes into character. Now I need to get some flinches because that would be the, the ideal position. Get the Nas split up. I guess his team doesn't cannot get flinched, huh? That's actually insane. Three, flin three air slashes, guys. Zero flinches on a Togekiss. I think this Togekiss is broken. I I'll probably need to buy a new one. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Zero flinches. I missed the air slash that would kill the Ferrothorn. Are you kidding me? So we get him Blissey. I assume he's going to T-wave me again or something. No, he just goes Milotic. And I don't think you want to get poisoned, so... No. Wish here. Uh, I can get in my uh, Volcarona. I'm pretty sure if we call if I call mine alongside him, I would still do something. So I don't know. I don't know how this works. Is he gonna beat me at plus six? I'm gonna call this actually. So we have Pokerona in. Versus Reuniclus. Let's assume he's pl plus six. Sword power. He would kill me at plus six. Would he kill me at plus five? He won't kill me at plus five. So if I get to plus five. Plus five. Okay. So my plus two. He's gonna dig his own grave because I still do it KO him even if I Oh I need to do it at plus four probably. Yeah, I need to do it at plus four. Okay, he choked. Um, so if I 
He's at plus four. Short power. So if I get to plus three. You get plus four, right? Okay. I almost killed him. He crit me there as well. Now we get in this guy. I feel like close combat is pretty free. Neither queen is at 52. Oh, this is to it, kill. I can just click this again. Okay, Skarmory is gone, so that's good. gonna u turn there he doesn't have a scarf so should be fine in that scenario i can go scissor to prevent him going into reuniclus but that reuniclus is pretty low I'm gonna go Togekiss here, anticipating the Thunder Wave. Oh, okay. I'm gonna roost there. It really sucked that I missed. The, th the air slash on that guy. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you really gonna do this? Okay. I'm game. Ah. Uh. Fake out there. I would lose if I get paralyzed there, so Okay, because need a queen now. I just need to make get my Togekiss out of that paralysis, so if I can get him out of the paralysis, I think we have a chance. Can't believe I s didn't get any flinches on him with three freaking air slashes. Such a long game as well. Okay. Oh, this is actually pretty good. So what we can do here, am I gonna play around the T-Wave? Because I can set up on Nido Queen, and my Mian Shell will force in the Nido Queen. So what we'll do is we'll go Blissey on the T-Wave. Blissey is pretty useless to scam anyway. Doesn't need to wall anything. Oh, and he didn't get the Paralysis off, so I can teleport actually. Power whips me. Now I get him in a child. 
And this is good, because now I can close combat something. If he doesn't go Nido Queen, something will die. Or he has to go Renuclus, but then I U-turn into Togekiss. I might even get the 2-8 KO on this. We'll see. Yeah, baby. Let's go. So goodbye. The only is Renuclus can win win his win his win him the game. We we'll have to play around that one. I literally just go for the U-turn here. Now we're getting Toga Kiss. And he went for Iron Defense, okay. So what, what I can even do now is just go for a Nasty Plot. Because his plus two defense doesn't do anything for him. He calmines now and now he has to pray that I don't flinch him. But I'm still uh, basically plus one because I have an extra uh, boost over him in terms of special attack and special defense. So I can air slash. Oh my freaking god, are you serious? Are you actually. Oh my god. This is so freaking dumb. <laughs> oh my god, I... I... Oh, man. Zero flinches, I'm, I missed the freaking crucial air slash there. I still have one boost over him, but I think I died to stored power from here, so I am going to attack here. Oh my god. How lucky can someone get? It's insane. I just have to flinch him down. There's nothing I can uh, do beside this. So, and he really, really deserves to die with this mon. Like seriously. Okay, so just don't miss now. This Pokemon should have been long. Dead. Okay, the biggest threat is gone, and I think with my Mian Shao, e even if my Toga gets false now, he's still gonna die to Mian Shao, because Close Combat's gonna kill this. Rotom is pretty low. Rotom is running speed as well, so Close Combat's gonna do extra, an extra lot. And I'm at plus four, so even if this my Lotte gets the haze of, he's still gonna die. Okay, finally. Like, so the third. This is what I meant. Uh, if if I had let his Rotom trick my Togekiss, it would have been really bad for me. And I would have probably had a much tougher game. Because Togekiss was really going to destroy him. Uh, that's why I was willing to switch, even though I was at plus two at that point And I obviously couldn't kill me. And yeah, that's basically that though. I think I'll... Leave it at this video, because uh, that battle took 23 minutes, 24 minutes. And I feel like playing another one, uh, but it's going to be for a different video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Uh, follow me on Instagram uh, if you'd like to see what's going on in my life. And to see my face as well. <laughs> and yeah, with that all being said, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.